Hello and welcome to the Rising Super Stream, the number one stream where I play Street Fighter V online while I wait for XSplit to restart. How you guys doing? How are you guys doing? I just realized also I didn't have the mic muted before starting the stream. That's why you were like, oh, I can hear the mouse clicks. And it's a good thing I didn't say anything really embarrassing or racist. Because that could have happened and that would have been really bad. But I didn't, so whatever. So whatevs. Today, I'm doing good. Um, one of the main reasons I'm doing good is I was able to replace my PS2 controller with a new PS2 controller. A new used PS2 controller. I went down to the pawn, like I went on Amazon and I checked it out and like used PS2 controllers on Amazon, uh, first party ones are like, 30 plus dollars about, including shipping and shit. I was like, eh, I don't really want to pay that much, but we'll see. Went to a local pawn shop, and I swear to God, if you would have told me this controller was opened up yesterday, I'd believe you. It's in such good shape. I paid 15 bucks for it. It's in, like, it feels perfect. So I'm just happy I have a replacement. Um, now, the reason we need a replacement is because today we're gonna endeavor to play not just Parappa, but also Um Jammer Lammy and Parappa 2. We're not playing this version of Parappa though. It's just the only physical one I have for, for visual demonstration purposes. We're gonna do our best and we're gonna see if we can make it through all three of those. But it might be a trial if we decide to do Parappa mode and Um Jammer Lammy. It, it's gonna, it's gonna really add up. So we'll, we'll see what we can do. We'll see how we can get through this. Yeah, there is a Parappa too. Absolutely. Man, look, the Elgato just shit itself like two seconds into the stream. What's up with that? That's fucking weird. I just, I like literally just restarted my computer. It should be at, at the, it should be at peak not shitting yourself. Instead, it's, it's immediate shit. Um, but hey, what are you going to do? It, it, you know... The, the longer I let it shit itself on stream, um, the more I've seen a few people come out and say, hey, my Elgato does that too. So it's clearly not a localized issue, which I guess I'm happy about, in a sense. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one doing something wrong, but I have no clue. Cool. So, so today we're playing Parappa the Rapper Remastered. Um, I see Reticula saying, is the remaster version screwed up with input lag, or is it just how it is? Oh no. I did not know about any of this. I hope it doesn't have... Oh no. Oh no. I just googled it. Apparently it does have input lag. Oh well. We're just going to have to do our best. We'll see what happens. Apparently it varies by stage, which is interesting. But hey, we'll do fine. We did Guitaru Man with like a broken controller, so it's fine. Uh, anyway, we're, so we're going to be playing the PS4 version of uh, Parappa. Because uh, the only alternative was the PSP one. And I think I lent my video out cables to Matt. So I couldn't, I couldn't even do that if we wanted to. Then we're going to play the PS1 version of Um Jammer Lammy, and then the PS2 version of Parappa the Rapper 2. I know there, I know it does exist on PS4, but I just, I, I, I don't, I can't warrant buying that when I already have it right here, just for a single stream. That's not, that shit's not going to pay for itself. <laughs> God, Jet Baby, Jet Baby is so ugly. Uh, Wiggles, this game is not in the original in the original resolution. The cutscenes are um, improved, uh, but they are not new renders. 
The game itself is rendering at a much higher resolution, though, when you get to the actual gameplay. And I'll take a giant spicy fries, giant vanilla, and cherry pie. Uh, a junior chunky burger, curly fries, and a large chocolate, please. I'll have a chunky garden salad, ginger soda, and a lemon pie. The fuck is a chunky garden salad? Well, here I am. What's chunky about it? My dream, sunny, funny. Boy, she sure is beautiful today. Next, please. Water. Here it is. That's such an odd moment, like the way that's timed and everything. God, it looks so fucking clean. Like, the image quality is just bananas. I mean, I'd expect no less, right? Um, so, um, we're going to get right into this. I should use the correct headphones or else I'll have even more, even more latency. We're going to get right into this. Uh, we are, of course, playing these games because there's this awesome Project Rap Rabbit going on on Kickstarter. If you haven't seen it, I recommend you check it out. Uh, it's Nana Onsha and uh, Inish J, Inis J, pardon me, uh, working on a new, like, story-based rhythm game. Um, so this is, uh, this is, this is Prop of the Rapper, the PS4 Pro version. Um, and it's, I guess it's, it's the seminal story-based rhythm game, I think, I feel. I feel like it must be. I can't really think of an earlier one that's as influential as Parappa. As far as like story-based rhythm games go. I think Parappa is really the first of its type in a big way. God, I always hated these guys. Stop it. There's no need to fear. Because Joe Chin is here. Hey, it's Joe. I have traveled the seven seas. I have crossed every mountain known to man. And I know that the mighty powers that I have are enough for jerks like you. I shall put on my magic gloves of glory and shall take you on a cruise to destroy all of you. Now, let me tell you of this one incident at this coffee shop where there were four jerks instead of two. Oh, here we go again. Let's go. Bye now. Bye. So I don't know about you guys, but I never had as much love for Parappa as like Innis's games. I've always been a bigger fan of Oendon and like now that I've played Guitaru Man like that as well, I think I prefer the aesthetic of. I love Rodney Greenblatt's art in um in the Parappa series. I gotta believe. But like the story and like all the side characters, eh. Chop Chop Master Onion's great. Parappa's great. But characters like Joe Chin, it's like I don't really get what's going on with this character. Joe Chin especially, where he has like that weird dialect. Did the Parappa voice actor die? Some people would say that he should have, because it turned out Dread Fox was a total fucking asshole. So, hey. Yeah, Lamy unfortunately doesn't have an HD remake. You can get Lamy on PS3 and Vita, which is nice. So I'm not amazing at Parappa. I've only finished it once on the PSP, like back when that came out. But I felt like I enjoyed it. So part of it is hard to, it's really hard to talk over this game. Part of it is like freestyling. And if you do too cool, like the notes disappear. Which is like supposed to be a reward. But I suffer at those bits. I can't I can't deal with those bits at all. Also, by the way, it is so hard to talk over this game. Like, this is the hardest game I've ever talked over. 
It's hard to keep your own rhythm in your head. That was bad. Oh, you can't go into cool mode until you beat the stage? Oh, I didn't know that. I actually never ever knew that, because I've only finished the game once, and then I replayed a few levels. That's awesome. That was bad. Oh yeah, Billa Team, I'm I'm deliberately pressing the button more than more than you're supposed to. Cause you're cause you're supposed to You're supposed to like repeat it. That's kinda like the rap aesthetic. It's not really like a rap game, it's more of a rhythm game, because you don't like make it up as you go or anything like that. But it's got like that's kind of their the freestyling aspect of it. To be honest, I don't really know the depth of the mechanics at all. Um because I like I was never deep into Parappa. Uh like I only played it once. Um But yeah, you you keep pressing the buttons to freestyle and you do cool and yeah. So Project Rap Rabbit, the new one they're working on, well, they're hoping to work on now that they're doing the Kickstarter for, how that one works is like, they, the enemy says something, and then you, you pinpoint the part of their line that you want to riff on, and then you pick an emotion to, not an emotion, but like a, a sentiment to riff on it. So like, you can riff on it humorously, or you can rag on it, or you can like, go on the attack, or, uh, and then there's like a unique line for each combination. So like that one's like rap rabbits a lot more like about actually rapping, I guess, quote unquote, as rap as it can get for a video game, I guess. Rap is more about like yeah, just like standard rhythm game, and then like do some, do some unique button presses. His voice acting is so weird. It reminds me of uh, fucking what's his face from the room. And it is capable of leaping tall buildings in a single bound. Would you girls like to go to the beach with me? Sure. Only if all of us can go. Of course, of course. Come on, girls, sit up top with me. You guys if I play Um Jammer, am I playing the version where she trips and dies? What is that? Can you tell me about that, Wiggles? Hold on. I have the PS1 version of the game. Yeah, Tommy Wiseau, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. What's the what's that? Um, Jammer Lammy tripping and dying? What is that? Tommy Wiseau or Wiso, it's like W I S E A U, I think. I don't know. Yeah, Rap Rabbit is to Parappa as ukulele is to Banjo Kazooie, that's accurate. Thank you. Hopefully it'll be gooder, but yeah. Oh, and the Japanese Lammy, she dies? Fuck, I didn't know that. No, I'm playing the English Lammy. Yeah, I know. I gotta believe That's kind of dope. Okay, but this is one of the best songs, though. You wanna learn how to drive, huh? It's harder than you think it is. If you think Man. Whenever you hear that piano start up, or that organ, or whatever the fuck it- Whenever you hear that piano start up, like fuck that riff's so catchy. Step on the gas, step on the brakes. 
Step on the brakes. Step on the brakes. Step on the brakes. Step on the gas. Step on the gas. I'm glad you know which way to go, but it ain't gonna stop me. Here we go. Check and turn the signals to the right. Check and turn the signals to the right. Now turn to the right. Now turn to the right. This song always threw me off. Cause it's so fast. Like, like you can't tell when Parappa's gonna loop back around. You just have to follow the song. It's tricky. It's tricky. Fuck. That's so fast. That's such a dumb part. Yeah, there's not a lot of room to improvise in this song, it's true. Oh, fuck. This game also, I, I don't know if it's just me, but it's really strict with, like, um, timing. And if your timing's off even a little bit, you, you drop down really hard. That was really close. I almost, I almost failed that song. I think I almost failed that song. Because you have, you have to finish with good, right? Or else you fail. Like, it's intensely strict. I think that was the thing that, like... I think that was probably why I like didn't really go back to it in a big way because I think yeah when I went back to it I started getting cool and when you go into cool mode and you lose the notes I, I couldn't I, I would just struggle to play the game Parappa. Hey, Parappa. Where are you going? probably if I'd played this before leapy agents and stuff I would have liked it more nah I stole the car pops cool good info Vasilia is cool bullshit in Parappa 2? Because Parappa 2, I know I just played through to the credits and I quit right away. I never came back to it. You know, Parappa as as the one, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but Parappa did, like, kind of start storytelling in Rhythm Game, right? As the beginning of it, like, I get it. But, like, going back to it from Innis' stuff, like, the story is so, it's so simplistic and nothing. I like Lammy's story better. I mean, it is a sequel, so it makes sense that it's more, like, ambitious and uh, interesting, I guess. Did anyone watch the Parappa anime? Good question. I know I didn't, but that exists. Cool. So Vasily is saying that in Parappa 2, to get cool, you have to like impress different stage masters' tastes. Which sounds like, yeah, very different. Oh, Parappa. I still have 59 more monthly installments to pay. What am I going to tell your mother? I hope you're ready to pay for everything. Yeah, Dread Fox, pay up. How am I going to pay for this car? How can I do that? Yeah. I know. I gotta believe. He said the thing. Mm. Like, yeah, this game just kind of, like, dumps you right into the next level. It doesn't, like, string them together as nicely, like in Oendon and Guitaru Man. But I think, I think Umjammer and Parappi fixed that. Uh, Parappi. Umjammer and Parappa 2 fixed that, right? Where they're, they're more threaded into the story. This is, a, this is a good track, too. I think they're all good tracks, actually. Oh, 
been in the flea market so early. I've been working here since my mama was a baby. Just because the river... It's weird seeing everything in such high definition. Makes you appreciate how minimal everything is. In the rain or in the snow. Got to got the funky flow. Got to got the funky flow. In the rain or in the snow. In the rain or in the snow. Got to got the funky flow. Got to got the funky flow. All you ever need is to be nice and friendly. All you ever need is to be nice and friendly. All you ever need. All you ever need is to be nice and friendly. All you ever need is to be nice and friendly. Remember, strike it rich. The key is low. See if everybody from. I can turn the volume up if it's a problem. This fucking champion can sell a bottle cap. It's crazy. I always found that crazy. Cool, I'll boost the game audio after this track. This is Dread Fox's theme song. Actually, I think a lot of people made this joke when Dread Fox was doing that bullshit. Thanks a lot. We turn that up. Let's turn up that game volume a tick. Is my mic on right? Yeah, my mic is on right. Okay, I gotta say the lyrics in that um the lyrics in that song are so fucking weird. You have never sold everything, everything. Yeah, well, I mean, like nobody has ever sold everything, everything. I, th I think those, unless I'm remembering incorrectly, I think those are some of the weirdest, weirdest lyrics in the game. Are we, are we cooking now? Is it cooking next? I love the cooking song. I think we're cooking next. Okay, it's Sunday's birthday tomorrow, and for the party, we need someone to get a present, we need someone to buy yeah, yeah, yeah. and someone to set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, and how should we decide? Well... I remember for a while when me and Matt would record videos, we would just we just kept saying crack 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 the X into the Y. Okay, and they say Jen Ken Pawn and everything. Alright, let's continue. John Ken Pawn. Oops. That's Japanese for rock, paper, scissors. Lots of kids didn't know what the fuck they were saying. And that means you have to get the cake, Parappa. Okay. All right, everybody. Let's all do our jobs and get ready for tomorrow. Right, right on. Is this Peach Beach Splash Bon Appetit Rap Festival? Peach Splash, but fuck, that's a hell of a... It's a hell of a title. No, it's not. Peach Beach Splash is good. Bon Appetit sucks. Neither is a rap festival. Although a center on Kagura rap game would be pretty dope. Hi, ya parappa. Tomorrow's the big day, isn't it? You want to see the cake that I got for Fuck off, Joe. I hate Joe Chin. I hate Joe Chin so much. I don't get him. He, like, I don't get the... I, maybe that's it. Maybe I'm supposed to dislike him. But when I look at him and I listen to his voice, he, it just he just irks me so much. But I guess that's I guess that's the point. I guess that's the point. Awesome relationship. The forty-second floor represents all the sights and sounds that Sunny and I will be experiencing. It's just the the way he speaks. Like like that's what irks me. 
I shall explain everything if he spoke if he fucking spoke tomorrow. good unlike me I'd like him more yeah Sonny does deserve better than dread Fox to do without a cake a birthday party without a cake is like a dance floor without me do you understand that no not not quite but all right what should I do I'm in trouble now. What should I do? I'm almost out of money. And I need a cake. Cheap. Cheap. Cheap, cheap, huh? Yeah, I know. I've got to believe. Wouldn't you know? Welcome to Cheap Cheap, the cooking chicken Okay, but this cooking, this might be my favorite song in the game. Seafood cake, guaranteed to catch her heart. And now, here she is. To be honest, I remember the last two songs a lot worse. Like, a lot worse. But I think this might be my favorite song in the game. Because of the lyrics. Like, the singer does it. Every single day, stress comes in every way. I ain't got no time for nobody. My style is rich. Like, it's not, it's not the background music. It's totally the lyrics. And the singer. That's bad. Apparently not. That's odd. I felt like I did everything perfect. We're making us a cake that you've never seen before. We're making us a cake that you've never seen before. Heat up the oven, now we're on a roll. Heat up the oven, now we're on a roll. Cheap, cheap, cheap's the name of my soul. Cheap, cheap, cheap's the name of your soul. The other day, I was called a little turkey. But I'm a chicken goddess, your beef jerky. Put the cake in the oven for a while. Put the cake in the oven for a while. Leave it there, come on, clean the pie. Leave it there, come on, clean the pie. Put the cake in in the oven for a while. Put the cake in the oven for a while. Leave it there, come on, clean the pot. Leave it there, come on, clean the pot. Here, I got a little sample. Here, I don't have a sample. Cause huh? ample time's just what we don't have. Cause money and time's just what we don't have. Cause a chicken in the kitchen is making all the sound. The cake is done while we were Hopefully we'll save it. All we gotta do is apply it's the not too late. Touches. All we gotta do is apply the final touch. All we take out the shrimp, the clam, and the perches. Take out the shrimp, the clam, and the perches. The perch goes here, the clam goes there. The perch goes there, the clam goes there. The little tiny shrimps just go everywhere. The little tiny shrimps just go everywhere. Whatever you like, in the middle, fiddle. Whatever you like, in the middle, fiddle. Uh -huh. Seafood cake uh -huh. comes just like the riddle. Seafood cake comes just like the riddle. Yeah! Really low score, though. I got a really bad score there, but all right. No problem. But how'd you get out the TV? Uh. I'm glad that turned around, though. I was worried. Yeah, this is proper the rapper no death broken controller run. <laughs> this this save data thing is so jarring. Damn it, did that save? Yeah, there you go, save. Like how it cuts the music like that. Am I gonna do cool for the alternate endings after this? No. I I can't. I really struggle when the notes are gone. Like, I really have a hard time with it. So I'm afraid not. Well, we're gonna move on to Um Jammer Lammy. I'm glad I'm not the only one who feels like the inputs are always weird on Nana One Shot games. Like to be honest, I really like Innis's games a lot more, but I but I respect that Nana One Sha is like the OG of making this style. Okay, this song, I forget which one it was. I actually like super forget 
which song the next one is. Don't tell me. It's gonna be a good surprise when it happens. Oh, no is we're playing on PS4, so it's not actually a broken controller. But I got a new PS2 controller for later. The toilet song. Fuck, which one was this? Oh my god, I forget this song completely. I super forget what this song is. Dread Fox got a shit all over his fans real bad. Are you going to drive me home? So manly. I got a shit, babe! Oh my god, I completely forget this part of the game. Excuse me, this is an emergency. I need oh, I remember this cutscene right now. So do we. Remember oh that. My. Now what? What can we do? Yeah, I know. I know. Oh yeah. Let's oh yeah, and it's just like a, it's like a medley almost. That's what it was, right? Shit. Okay, I remember. Yeah, I remember the medley. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't remember that it was about a toilet. I t not at all. I remember the medley, and I remember what the last level is, but... Ah, dope, 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 that's cool. Like, this is pretty much the wrap-off of the game, pretty much. The, la the last song a little bit, too. Cha! <laughs> Fucking murdered. Man, they give up real fast. Almost makes you wish the song was like twice as long. Oh yeah, it's fucking long. I forgot about the double lines. That was really bad. In the rain over the snow, you've got a funky flow, but now you really gotta go. The toilet over there will bring you luck, so give up, I got no time to spare. The toilet over there will bring you luck, so give up, I got no time to spare. Ah, I'm here losing up. I'm out of here. Walk the walk, even if you can't just talk the talk. God, her voice is the best. I am a chicken from the kitchen, and I a kitten, although nothing is written. You are a ticket from the kitchen, and you ain't kitten, although nothing is written. Crack, break, fix the door, you know. I gotta go, so yes, open up, you know. Crack, break, fix the door, you know. I gotta go, so yes, open up, you know. I am a chicken from the kitchen, and I ain't kitten, although nothing is written. You are a ticket from the kitchen, and you ain't kitten, although nothing is written. Break, fix the door, you know. I gotta go, so yes, open up, you know. Crack, break, fix the door, you know. I gotta go, so yes, open up, you know. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. We shitting good. We can come back after and do the, the, the alternate ending to that. Oh, yes, Bleakle, we're gonna play Parappa 2 after for sure. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'll drive you home now. But I'm Jammer Lammy. Well, probably I'm Jammer Lammy first. Probably do them in order. Yeah, I agree, Gunstar, Gunstar Silver Gun. The, the aesthetic and the soundtrack are like, they're the total winners in this game. The, the gameplay is. It's dated in a bad way. For sure, for sure. Yeah, you walk out and everyone shit their pants, pretty much. Go to Club Fun. Crack Cocaine Land. So, like, one of the things I don't really like about the story in Prappa, in the first Prappa, is, like, how incredibly disjointed it is. Like, it's not just, like, in the beginning where, like, okay, I, I, I need to pay for the car. Oh, look, I'm randomly at a, at a fucking... Uh, not pawn shop, a, a, like, flea market. But then there's stuff like this where, like, you resolve the bathroom stuff, and then time just skips, and you ask her out on a date, and it just kind of, like, like, it just kind of, stuff just happens to Parappa, you know? There's no real, there's no arc, really. I mean, the arc is them getting together, but it, it just kind of jumps around, I find. I don't know, maybe, maybe, I, maybe I'm crazy. But I don't feel like it's like a super compelling story that you follow through the middle. And I, I'm pretty sure Lamy and Parappa 2 improved that situation a lot, but... Yeah, it's basically jump from music video to music video, pretty much. This song's still a winner. Oh god, when you look at this in 16 by 9 and you see the edges of the crowd... Not how it's meant to be shown. I remember when I played this on PSP, the thing I hated about this song was if you fail, you have to rewatch this whole thing. It's a pretty long intro. That first verse is weird because they're not searing the singing to the rhythm that you're supposed to. Like now you're actually singing back and forth, but the first verse isn't like that. Oh. When they put two rows, it feels like fucking shit. Yeah. 
Man, we gotta do a full LP of Major Minor's Majestic March, too. That lyric's so weird. I always find that line bizarre. Let's rhyme the word you four times. Yeah, now you lead. That's true. And this bit's fucked too. Because you just go into the next verse like that instantly. And you don't get a chance to look at the note. It's fucked up. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking here. Like, I don't know what the fuck they were thinking there. Like, that bit is the fucking worst. I can't believe I forgot about it until just then. But like, oh my god, the amount of times I failed on that verse... Shit, that was why I remember the beginning of the song having such a long, boring intro. But like, what the fuck were they thinking having Parappa just have lines that, that go like that? It's so awful. It's so bad. Ugh, this game is so overrated. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Yo, that uh, Mario Rabbids RPG. I hope it turns out cool. I'm, I'm, I'm tentatively excited for it. I hope it turns out well. Looks cool. Yeah, yo, Nana Onsha does. They're not, they're not great at gameplay, dude. Not at all. That's, that's for sure. Good job, Rodney Allen Greenblatt. You fucking succeeded with your crazy iconic look. So that's Parappa the Rapper. We've been streaming for not long, but I think some people, um, some people don't realize how fucking incredibly short these games are. That's one thing that, like, I've seen a couple people, yeah, that's the entire game, yeah. Um, we're, we're gonna go back and do some of the, 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 the bad ends, though. I just want to point out, by the way, just, I'm a very humble person. But I haven't played Parappa since this version came out in 2006. And now I'm a very humble person. But I just want to make sure you realize I just finished the game without without losing. And I haven't played it in over a decade. So I'm pretty fucking impressed with myself right now. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, you know, that's something I saw a few people talking about with Project Rap Rabbit is, uh, I saw a few people talking about how, like, they're bummed that it's only gonna be, like, uh, I think it was eight songs or something like that. Uh, but, like, all these games are incredibly short. Like, Parappa's, like, yeah, 40 minutes. Umjammer's, like, 40 minutes to an hour. And then there's the Parappa mode, so it's kind of double long. Parappa 2's, like, an hour long or something like that. Uh... The Uendon games all have like 15 songs, so they're like no more than two hours long. And Get a Ruman was an hour long as well, so like. Rap Project Rap Rabbit for sure will fit right in with that, but like. I'm, I'm bummed that a lot of people are like down on the playtime and being like, no, I don't want to back something that's only gonna be like an hour long. That's like, no. Oh yeah, I have played Vib Ribbon, Spleekle. Do you, are you are you much of a fan of Vibribbon? Because it's it's neat.
It's a neat game. I don't love Vib Ribbon, but it's it's cool. And it still looks beautiful. So Spleekle, if you've never tried it, you should head out and go play Rhyme Rider Kerorikan, this game. Um, because it's... it's So there's Vib Ribbon and there's Vib Ripple. Uh, which I've never played Vib Ripple. I don't know if it's any good. Um, but Rhyme Rider Kerorikan is just a secret other Vib Ribbon. Uh, it came out before Vib Ripple, but after Vib Ribbon. And it's just Vib Ribbon. There's only four tracks, so it's like... It's incredibly brief, but yeah. Yeah, I highly doubt Project Rap Rabbit will have Nana One Shot tier gameplay. I mean, the Innis guys are working on it, so you know. Yeah, Rhythm Heaven Fever is good. My favorite one is still the Wii version for some reason, but Fever's great. Yeah, it's just a fucking toilet. There's no character. <laughs> That's good. Oh, no pun is I'm just waiting on uh, Star Exorcist being free again, because I think right now she's prepping for cons or some something, some shit. I love that girl. So I can just fail at any point in the song, right? Like, I can just let it happen? Can I skip this? Yeah, I can skip this. Yeah, so I'm just gonna let myself, uh... I'm just gonna let myself die. Trappa makes great sounds when you mash. Oh, I did all right. Oh my god, look at that aspect ratio. It, er, like it cuts off the bottom of Parappa. It was never meant to be seen like that. Aspect ratio fucks it up. God, I forgot this had a fucking FMV. I don't know if I've ever seen that, actually. Parappa's stomach fucking takes off. Are there any, uh, were there any other good bad ends? Or is that, is that pretty much it? Can you change it to Japanese? Oh look, you can change the screen to 4x3, I didn't know that. Feel the beat, see the beat, add-on songs. Oh, are these the mixes from, that they added in the PSP version? Did they add those in the PSP version? I remember the PSP version had it having something else. Like, I think it had, like, just, just, like, varied mixes of the songs, but they're kind of just remixes. Yeah, they were in the PSP version. Yeah, 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 that's it. Okay, so that's where these are from. Um, but I'm pretty sure they're pretty raw remixes, right? Like, well, 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 let's go in and do... Let's do stage one music D. I think I set it to 4x3 as well, so we'll get to see what it looks like in 4x3. Probably looks fine. Okay, so it just puts those, like, to letterbox it. But that's not letterboxing, that's, um... Whatever. Four by three. If you wanna I can't speak. Punch. 
Eh. It's not awful. Are you even gonna get cool? I like this little this little riff between each verse. It's kind of nice, actually. Fuck, I got no cool. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised I didn't get cool, but whatever. You can go on to the next stage now. Yahoo! All right. Okay, so yeah, they're just like adjusted versions of the song. So there's those add-on songs and there's Okay, so there's eight of them. Wow, four of them are for Chop Chop Master Onion stage. And then the sixth stage doesn't even get anything. So what's feel the beat? Oh, it's rumble. And see the beat. I don't know what that is. All right, well, that's that's pretty much Parappa the Rapper. In Japanese, called simply Parappa Rapper. Uh, was, it, was there anything else? Uh, was there anything else in this game worth jumping into? Any bad ends or anything like that that I'm forgetting? I think I think we pretty much did everything. Oh yeah, the blob. Me and um, uh, Thomas and a couple other people recorded a near automata spoiler cast. Uh, it's not up yet though. But if you follow Trongasm on Twitter, his handle is mom. Um, eventually, you'll see it whenever it's ready. Stage four fail. Yeah, sure, we can do stage four fail. That's no problem. Oops, not replay. Stage select. I forget what this was. Oh, see the beat just disables the HUD? Wow, that sounds miserable. Yeah, Ozymandia, we're gonna... Police Knots is delayed. I want to use the word indefinitely, but not in a scary way. Because I'm, I'm gonna do it, but like... Probably only in July, at earliest. Yo, jury is best waifu. Please enjoy your time with Nier Automata. Folklore is alright, Death by Noob. It's really repetitive, but it's a cool game. Parappa screams at fire. Oh yeah, <laughs> I do remember that now actually. Dope. Well, that's Parappa the Rapper. 
not much to it. It's a, it's a very, very small uh, game. It has, it has like a ridiculously controlled scope. It's crazy. Like FMVs in six songs. But you know, then again, like this type of rhythm game didn't really exist at the time. So as much as the scope is absurdly small and controlled when looking at it, like retrospectively, at the time, like that was still a pretty ambitious thing to try doing. So kudos to them. Kudos to them for, I guess, pioneering a, a sub-genre of, of rhythm gaming. What, what, do they, what do they add to this? Oh, it does have a platinum. Complete all four stages in the practice level. What was the practice level? Is there, is there another level for practice that's, like, got an original tune? Should I check that out? Should I should I should I do that? Blow off the walls. Oh, I see. Oh wow, cool on every level. Dang. Achieve your destiny as coolest hero by earning cool on every yeah, cool on every level. What is this one? KT and the Sunny Funny Band. How do we get that? How, whoa, 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 how do we get this song? How do we get this? How do we what do we do, what do, we do, what do, we do to get that? Curl all stages on easy. Find the secrets in every stage, yeah. Stage with that, with <laughs> clear the stage with the rating of awful, which we thankfully didn't do. Okay, how do wait, 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 how do we get that song? KT and the Sunny Funny Band. Can, can, can anyone? Does anyone? Does anyone know? I'm, I'm even if it's not a song, I'm curious. KT and the Sunny Funny Band unlock. Oh, they just dance around and you get to look around. Oh, you got to get a cool on every level? Well, that's not happening. Never fucking mind. Never mind that. Never mind. It's nothing. Oh, Conlon plays. They patched that in a little while ago so you can you can look at a hidden trophy and hit square to reveal what it is. I mean, Spoiler warning, right? Like, don't fucking open up stuff in, in story-focused games, but like... Yeah, that's not happening right now. Maybe I'll come back to that, I don't know. Let's dump that in. Finished games. Done. Hidden. Concealed. Um... So what do you think killed rhythm games everywhere that isn't Asia? Um... That's a tough question. Because I, I wasn't... I wasn't... I don't have enough knowledge because I wasn't um, old enough at the time. Um, rhythm games, if I, and this is a this is a very amateur opinion. Again, I wasn't I was very young when rhythm games kind of went away. As far as I know, I think. So so prepare for a super amateur hour answer. But like, yeah, rhythm games came back into popularity with pretty much with Guitar Hero. Two and mostly mostly Guitar Hero three, um, and then Rock Band. So rhythm games would have disappeared around 2003 or four. So there was a gap of it wasn't that many years actually, like four years or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what killed rhythm games. I think maybe just. Maybe just most of them don't have that kind of broad appeal, you know? Not until games like, you know, Just Dance and Rock Band and uh, Guitar Hero and... You know, now there's stuff like Project Diva that's managing to do, you know, hundreds of thousands of units per release, which is wild worldwide, you know, so... Yeah, I mean, I don't really know exactly what killed rhythm games, but I'd, I'd be inclined to say people weren't going for the original stuff. Um, and then a lot of it's like, yeah, a lot of them were very arcade focused and like the decline of arcades in North America and Europe contributed to that in an extreme fashion. Um, I think that's probably it. Like the big focus was was arcade and all the home ones didn't have broad appeal at the time. So you just, you just wind up with a genre that's between a rock and a hard place. How does it make you feel that all rhythm games might be gotcha from now on? Well, fortunately they're not. Um... Unfortunately, a bunch will be, so hey, what are you going to do? <laughs> uh, I just... I know Rap Rabbit still still needs a lot. Like, it's... 
They can still turn it around if they like actually show off some music and stuff. But like, I hope Rap Rabbit comes back. And, and I don't want to say saves rhythm games, but like, I feel like um, I feel like right now it's like pretty much like Konami and Ubisoft and Sega like holding up the rhythm genre worldwide. And then Namco is doing a lot of work in in Japan as well, and and, and other uh, more Asia-centric companies that don't have worldwide releases holding it up there. So I hope I hope Rap Rabbit fucking comes out and does the business, cause shit, man. I feel like there hasn't been like a real ambitious rhythm game since like the Oendon series died off. You know, I feel like those were kind of the last like ambitious ones that weren't just press buttons to the to the music. Not that pressing buttons to the music isn't a blast, because it is. But like, trying to do your own thing and tell your own story and make your own original world, you know? I feel like those are the last, like, big ambitious ones in that sense. So, to get Demo the last recital, um, I played it on mobile, and I'm gonna wait until Limited Run does their, their Limited Run to buy the Vita version. and get my physical copy. Yeah. Um... Oh, I tried Vos on mobile scrams, uh, and, and in fact, if you have a, a phone, I recommend you download Vos on there and give it a go before you buy the Switch version. Um, I, I wasn't in love with it. Um, that Rayarch's rhythm games are all kind of the same, like Demo and Vos kind of have the exact same playstyle. Um, so I'm gonna wait for a sale on Vos on the Switch. Um, if I could recommend a rhythm game, though, I would recommend um, Super Beat Zonic, which is a fucking incredible rhythm game. Amazing. And that fucking, yeah, that uh, Rudy Mikkel Dark Witch spin-off rhythm game that came out on the Switch. Boy, that's a fucking Kusoge. You're super right, Zulti. It's poor, that game, man. That's a poor rhythm game. It's, it's just like when the PS4 and Xbox One came out. The thirst is so real. Um, people are buying up everything, and that, that game is not a great rhythm game. Uh, thoughts on Osu? Osu's great. Osu's really good, um, but it's not like it's not really what I want. Like I want the stories and I want the world. I want the I want the whole package. And so whenever when I when I did play Osu, because I played it a, for like a while when it was like fairly new, um, I, I eventually just fell off because I was like, ah, eh, yeah, I'm just pressing buttons to the notes, and that's and that's fun. Again, that's a blast. But I want the I want the whole package. So, but Osu Osu has a multiplier score system, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm getting that impression from Neatly right now. Because uh, that multiplier scoring system is shit, man. Owendon has that too, and Elite Beat Agents has that too. The multiplier system, it's shit. It's a shit scoring system. And like my fucking favorite rhythm games use that scoring system. I hate it. What about Persona? Man, whenever someone asks me about Persona 4 dancing all night, I feel like, uh, I feel like people are baiting me. I don't, I don't really like dancing all night that much. I like a lot of the mixes. I don't like a lot of the mixes. Um, I, I, the UI is... I don't love the UI. Uh, and the life system is needlessly difficult. Um, and the scoring system's fucked, so... <laughs> that's, that's some fucking strong bait, asking about dancing all night. I got so much shit for Dancing All Night. Like, I remember on the Super Best Friend cast, right when Dancing All Night came out, uh, and Super Beat Zonic just came out as well, like, right at the same time. I, like, I don't want to say I shit all over Dancing All Night, but, like, Super Beat Zonic is, like, a really, really good rhythm game, and Dancing All Night is, like, a really, really flawed rhythm game, with, and they have exceptionally similar gameplay styles. I remember going, like, hey, that Super Beat Zonic's way better. And I remember getting, getting a lot of shit for that. It's Wiggles the Ninja. Dancing All Night's not. It's not awful. It's not outright bad. You'll still have a good time with it. But like, there's stuff that is just. It's just fucked for no reason. There's no reason the health system and the scoring system should be like that. Uh, there's no reason. These are these are mechanics that other rhythm games figured out ages ago. That Dancing All Night just trips right into. And I, I wonder if that's Atlas, like uh, the the Persona team who polished up the game, or if that was Dingo. I'm inclined to I'm inclined to think Dingo put the design in, but then Atlas decided to keep it, which I don't agree with. Um, 
wish they would have. Wish they would have fixed it. Yeah, like it does feel like their first attempt at the rhythm game. I mean, that's exactly it. I, I'm just surprised, you know. I expect so much of the Persona team, and they usually deliver every single time. And like Dancing All Night just has weird, like little issues that they never, like they, they never patched them. They could have patched them, but they never did. So hey, what are you gonna do? Dingo, by the way, they were so good with Project Diva. The first three Project Diva games are amazing. Um, but holy shit, uh, Love Live School Idol Festival, what a fucking wreck. I should stream that one time. What a wreck that game is. That is like one of the most disappointing rhythm games I've ever bought. That should have been a slam dunk. Like a rhythm game by Dingo, the guys who did Project Diva, who made Project Diva, and they had the Love Live license. That should have been a, a touchdown. That should have been a, 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 what's a, what's a good football analogy? Like a hundred, hundred yard touchdown it should have been a hundred yard slam dunk but they fucked it up so hard it's such a wreck yeah yeah the first project diva game is janky going back to it for sure at the time it was really impressive though i remember um yeah but to be honest i think i think the last good project diva game was um miracle girls festival I think Project Diva X was really disappointing. Like, as a longtime fan, I think it was really disappointing. And F Second is F Second is really good if you're if you weren't into the PSP ones. But if you were into the PSP ones, like it's pretty much all old stuff that you already know. And so it's like, uh, I've seen all these songs before. Um, so that kind of sucks. Plus, they fucked up the scratch notes. The scratch notes, which were like. They were like passable in Project Diva F, but then they bungled them in, in, in F second and forward, which is crazy. I, I can't believe they bungled that. Like, they were fine in Project Diva F. They, they were, so how, how Project Diva plays is you use the D-pad and you use the face buttons, right? And then there's scratch notes. You, you just rub on the touch screen on the, I'm, uh, this is not a Vita, but on a Vita you'd rub on the touch screen. Um, and I remember before the game came out, everyone was like, ah, I don't really like the idea of like rub notes. But then when, when everyone got to them, it was like, you know what? These are fine. These are fine. Scratch notes are fine in Project Diva F. They're all right. Um, but then in F second, man, they fucked up the scratch notes. Like, like, ah. Yeah, I, I think that's it too. Like in the second game, they added the ability to use the stick because there was a PS3 release um, at launch for it. You could swap to the stick, so maybe that's why they felt less restraint with the scratch notes. But that's why I like Miracle Girl Festival so much because Miracle Girl Festival, unless I'm insane, actually ditched the scratch notes completely. Um, the songs are either really short or really long. You pick your poison. And there's like a pretty good selection of anime OPs. It's all it's all recent stuff, obviously, but like, yo, all the, there's a bunch of Wake Up Girl songs in it, and they're great. And the choreography is fantastic because the choreography for all the Wake Up Girl stuff is done by um, the guy who did the choreography for Hari Hari Yukai. So like, all of the anime OPs in in um, Miracle Girls Festival, all their dances are like kind of flaccid and lame. But then you get to the Wake Up Girl stuff, and they're just really, really well choreographed, really good tracks, and you're like, oh my god. The quality gap here. The quality gap is so, is so solid. Have I ever seen a good rhythm game that lets you import a song? I didn't play Audio Surf a lot, but I thought that one was pretty good at song importing. Um, Beats on the PSP was also pretty good with song importing. I don't think that ever got remade. I think you can download it on your Vita, but I'm not sure if song importing is intact on the Vita version. Actually, then you probably can't, because I think it was all custom songs. But Beats is alright. Yeah, Zulti straight up Miracle Girls Festival. It's it's one of the best Project Diva games. So Unfortunately it's crazy expensive compared to the other Project Diva games, and the set list is more limited. Um, but it's super good. Yeah. Alright, well. Now that enough viewers have dropped off, uh I'm going to jump over to, to I'm Jammer Lammy, which is the second Parappa game. Um, 
We're playing this on PS1. Uh, the only versions I believe that exist are the PS1 version and there's a digital PS1 version on PS3 and Vita. Um, highly recommended if you've never played it. I'm Jeremy Lamy. I only played through Parappa 2 once. And I only played through I'm Jeremy Lamy once, but I, I remember this one being my favorite of the three. Um, so, that said, I remember the songs very, very poorly, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm gonna go grab my PS2 and get it set up, and we will be back in just a minute. It's really not gonna take me long, uh, but I will play some play some catchy tunes for you in the meanwhile. Uh, so, I'll be right back. Hey, hey, in the meanwhile, if I haven't already convinced you or sent you that way, if you're cool and open to Kickstarters, or if you're not cool and open to Kickstarter, please go check out Project Rap Rabbit. It's a new Kickstarter game by the guys who did Parappa and by the guys who did Owendon and Guitar Man and shit. Go check that shit out. Please. I swear they're not paying me to shill. I just really want that game to exist. Anyway, I'll be back on real soon. Uh, see you guys in a minute.